In today's video, we will cover 5 most popular custom cards available through Home Assistant Community Store. Hax offers custom integrations, front ends, and add ons, but today's focus will be on custom cards that can be found in the front end section of the store. I will leave a link in the description to the Hax page so they can follow the easy installation steps. The way I've chosen the cards is based on their star rating. The last one will probably surprise you. Let me know in the comments if you agree with the community starring and any other cards you'd personally want to highlight. Custom cards is a great way to bring maximum personalization to your dashboards. And with that out of the way, let's look into our first card. Unsurprisingly, it's a collection of mushroom cards. You've seen mushroom cards many times on this channel and they encompass the whole platform of cards, allowing you to build a truly custom dashboard. I'll quickly walk you through my personal favorite mushroom card, the mushroom template card. This card gives you the utmost flexibility. You start off with choosing an entity that you want to control with this template card. You can then change the primary information. You can even pull the template thing into it. You can change the secondary information. So we'll just make it an office laptop here. You can then change the badge icon and you can use template to control the states and reflect the icon based on that stage. So now all we need to do is to insert the correct entity name, make certain changes to the icon so that they change depending on the state of that entity. Now we can do the same for the badge color. As you can see, we just copy across the same entity and all we need to do is to change the color scheme. That way we change the badge. We can do the same way for the icon itself and we can do exactly the same for the icon color itself. Now all that needs to be done is to add a tap action and the hold action and you're done. Number two, we have mini graph card. This card works with entities within the sensor or binary sensor domain and displays the sensor's current state as well as the line graph representation of the history. Now let's set it up. We'll start off with just finding the card in our Home Assistant, click on it. Now you notice that this card can only be configured for YAML, so you'll have to do some coding. The simplest one will be just representing a single sensor. So let's take a temperature sensor from King Bedroom. There you go, looks nice, feels nice. You want it to make more complex or make a grid of the charts, you can then do this way by essentially entering multiple mini graph cards into a single horizontal stack. And now we're adding temperature, humidity, and the battery to the same sensor. Click save, and there you have it. Lovely looking combination of multiple sensors in charts. At number three, we have a custom button card, which allows you to customize any specific button, whichever way you want. It has a lot of functionality in terms of colors, animations, and other functionality. So let's give it a go. Now with a button card, it's the same story. It needs to be all done in YAML. There is no way for you to pre-configure it in a visual editor. This is just one of the examples of what you can do with this button. If you go into the page that is describing all the functionality of that button, there is really pages and pages and pages of customization that you can be doing. This is just a simple example where we use a switch for the office plug heater. We give it a nice looking icon. We change the color of it and that's about it. Moving on to number four, we have a mini media player card, which allows you to have a highly customizable media player. With it, you can customize the backgrounds, you can add the text to speak functionality and many other things. So let's set it up. Unlike the previous two cards, we can actually do some visual customization for the mini media player. As you can see, you can set the artwork, you can choose the media device that you want to use for it. You can choose the source, you can choose the mode for you can also do additional coding for which you can re refer to the page of this card in the hack store for more details. But when you're done, you click save and you have a nice minimal looking media player right at your fingertips. The final one for today is the bubble card which is a minimalist and customizable card collection for Home Assistant. Now, an interesting element of the bubble card is its conditional card functionality. You've seen the super minimalist dashboard video on this channel, which kind of talks to that concept. So you if you haven't, please go and watch it now. Otherwise, let's try and set it up. Now let's find the bubble card. First off, we choose the card type, which is a button. It's very convenient that all the types are actually in the same card. You don't need to have it like with a mushroom card, multiple cards in your install. You then choose the entity that you want to control. You have a lot of button settings to work with. You have uh, actions, double tab actions. You can also add sub buttons to, as you can see, we're adding temperature here. You can add other sub buttons, well, largely as many as you'd like, as long as it works. You can now, as you can see, control it very nicely. Uh, now, what else we can do with this button? As you can see, we can do a conditional type card. 
we'll choose either numeric state or entity state. And based on that, we can then open or hide a certain card. So you can see it's hidden now. Now we're going to change the visibility settings. We'll change it different to a numeric state. And when we do so, voila, it's visible. As soon as the temperature dips below it, it will become invisible again. Thank you for watching this video. This is a quick summary of all the star ratings and the downloads for all the cards we talked about today. If you like this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you want to leave a comment and propose some of the different cards that you use, please do so.